In this video, we're going to be going over the dark side of Daytona. First, women's serial killers. It's one of, one of the most gruesome things that actually happened here in Daytona Beach. Daytona is about to get exposed. If you want to find out more, make sure you stay tuned. What's up, everybody? It's Jim Dead! And Mama! With the four sale team right here in Daytona Beach, Florida, if you're new to the channel and you want to know everything about working, sleeping, playing, eating, buying, and or selling, anywhere here in the Daytona Beach area, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified every time you release a new video. We have people reaching out literally every single day. And we love it. Whether it's buying, selling, moving, or relocating, make sure you reach out, shoot me a call, text, email, message in the bottom, or schedule a Zoom in the link down below. And if you want to talk to other people, go to our Facebook page. Um, there's a link down below and where we have conversations with people that are moving here, that live here. Um, you can ask questions there and get in a little deeper conversation. I really need to reach us. We've got your back when you move to Daytona Beach, Florida. Let's get into it. So Daytona Beach is a beautiful, beautiful, picturesque area. You have sun, surf, just, you know, family-friendly entertainment. You've got all kinds of tourism. You've got cars, you've got bikes, you've got so many things to offer. And underneath all that fun in the sun, all the sunshine, family vacations, lies a bit of a dark side that not many people are going to tell you about. And certainly not you know any of your realtors that are trying to bring you over so in this video we're gonna be exposing the dark side of Daytona Beach to start off there are some crazy things that have happened in the, in the history of Daytona and one of them is Daytona is the home of one of the first women serial killers uh, in the United States and she she was a prostitute her name was Eileen Warnos I think that's how you say it but and there was an, actually a movie made, uh, Charlize Theron made a movie called Monster. Um, there's a, we'll put a link down to the Netflix, you can watch it on Netflix. Uh, tells the whole story behind it. But she killed seven of her clients. She was a prostitute, killed seven of her clients, robbed them and shot them. And uh, she, was, she was actually executed um, after so many years in prison. But uh, it's, it's a crazy storyline. You gotta watch it. We didn't know that. We didn't know the story. I mean, I knew of the movie before um, and knew of the, the murders and all kind of stuff, but didn't understand until we moved here and found out it happened in Daytona Beach, so I had to watch the movie, and then it was phenomenal. So there's some there's a cool biker bar that she went to. I got to go to it now. It's it's just it's interesting if you're into that kind of thing. It's funny. We were actually, before finding out about all this as well, um, they were actually having a car show at that very same biker bar. And we rolled up as it was packing it up and you know so we didn't quite know anything about it and there weren't that many cars there but coming to find out that we were actually there already at the biker bar parked right outside we didn't actually go in but now it's it's kind of it's, it's the next thing on the list yeah i mean because it's it's in the movie a lot and uh this is kind of cool um and the story behind it is will blow your mind but if you haven't seen it I highly recommend it. Make sure you check it out. Cool. So one of the most popular things here in Daytona Beach is going to be Bike Week. It's one of the biggest draws. People from literally across the nation travel to come to Daytona Beach for this week-long festival of two-wheeled motorcycles. Sometimes three, sometimes three. Two. I, uh, two uh, <laughs> cycling. Uh, no, no, no. Just, just bikes. Bikes. Bikes in general. People come to enjoy their enthusiasm for bikes. <laughs> and the thing is, when you get a lot of people, you know, gathering in a certain area and clustering, it give them a little alcohol and some rock concerts and give them alcohol, rock concerts and, you know, also maybe some drugs <laughs> and some giant metal horses that are <laughs> pretty damn fast. I mean, you're going to end up with a couple a couple injuries here and there. Now, <laughs> bike week here in 2022 if you want to check out that video make sure you go ahead and click the link now it'll be either yeah it'll be right there <laughs> if you want to check out that video and our experience going and checking out bike week in this video we actually go ahead and tour main street and the international speedway so make sure you go ahead and check that out so the rolling total for bike week in terms of casualties there's going to be actually six people that ended up losing their lives rest in peace and then 88 people as a result of bike week, bike week were sent to the hospital um so shit happens <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then there was one incident where a guy shot a guy right in the bar that happened last year that happened and then also on top of that uh, this year um what happened was there was a couple 
is one of the, one of the most gruesome things that actually happened here in Daytona Beach in a very very long time. Um, but there was a couple actually that was out walking and it, it was like two, so they were riding their bikes. Oh, they were riding their bikes. It was like two or three in the morning, and some guy literally randomly just jumped out of the woods, jumped out of the woods and slashed their slashed necks and, and killed them. just killed them and left them there. Just so random. I mean, like. The thing is, if you're looking up Daytona Beach, you're gonna see it anyway. So you know, I just want to make sure you know about it. Uh, yeah, and they caught the dude. They caught the dude. They, they, oh, they caught him. There was a man. Hunt. There was <laughs> yeah, a man. Really? Hunt yeah. They caught yeah. him. Um, but they, they they did end up catching him, and and so you can ride your bike now. It's safe. Yeah, it's safe to ride your bike. <laughs> so with the Daytona Beach area, there's some crazy shit that happens on land. Now, just a little bit south past the inlet is actually one of the most dangerous areas when it comes to the water. And that's going to be New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Now, New Smyrna Beach, Florida is actually known as the shark attack capital of the world. I mean, it's crazy. We were there yesterday surfing, and uh, I was out far out catching the second set. My wife was bodyboarding up front, and she had like a, like a six-footer or eight-foot. I'm not even sure what kind of shark, because I didn't see it. Um, swim up right by her ankle and she freaked out and was like screaming at me to come back so I could catch a wave and come back in. I didn't, I didn't get to see it, but Jim in here has caught a shark there. Um, we see him all the time in the waves. It's crazy. Um, but it's, it's, it's not as bad as everybody thinks it is. It just happens to be the highest area or highest area in the United States that, that, that shark bites happen. Is it the United States or the world? Um, the world. The world. Yeah, so in 2021, there were 17 attacks. And I think one of them ended up in an amputation, but it wasn't because of the, well, I guess it was caused by the shark bite, but the reason they had to get it amputated is because they put a tourniquet on the kid, and it was too tight, cut off the circulation, and, you know, leg just was dead, so they had to cut it off. So it wasn't really, it's not like the shark bit it off or anything. And most of the bites are actually... Uh, are actually just like tiny little nips because the sharks, they're, most of them are baby sharks and they're just like cruising around in the murky water and they get bumped and the second they get bumped they just kind of, they just kind of nip at you and so none of them have been like super crazy, you know, like Jaws type stuff, but it's still, you know, still kind of creepy. Uh, the majority of the sharks that you're going to find here are going to be the Atlantic black tip sharks. Now the thing is, there are great whites in the water. Uh, we have a buddy that we go disc golfing with every morning. He was down in Cocoa Beach, where you can actually check out our video on Cocoa Beach on Boba's birthday right birthday. here as well. It was pretty sick. And he was actually down in Cocoa Beach, uh, I want to say a couple days ago, and they were out in the water, and the lifeguard actually had everybody come out of the water because there was a great white in the water. And so it's not like they don't know what to look out for, and they're very good at keeping people aware, at keeping people on the beach and stuff. Uh, the black tip sharks, they're honestly not that big of an issue. Yeah, they can get bigger in size, but for the mo most part, majority of them are relatively small, like the one that we caught. It's not a black tip, but it's an, an Atlantic sharp nose, and it's about, it was, it was around, you know, this big. Four feet ish so. And yeah. so. And in Daytona, there's, it's not that bad. The D Daytona beaches, there's not many shark sightings or, or bites or anything like that. It's just New Smyrna, but if you're a surfer and you like, you know, like a little cooler beach, you're gonna end up going to New Smyrna anyway, so. Um, especially if you're a surfer because that's the best waves. So if you like tasty waves and a little bit of nibbling, New Smyrna Beach is the perfect place for you. If you want to check out our, those videos on New Smyrna Beach, Florida, make sure you go ahead and click the link up here as well. Cool. Okay, and then Daytona 500 and tourism, I guess that ties together. I guess we did also touch on tourism with the Bike Week stuff. Okay. So the brutally honest truth is the fact that Daytona is a huge tourism hotspot. There's a good chance there's a, that's the reason why you know about Daytona in the first place heard about it in the movies, in the songs. Everybody knows about Daytona and everyone talks about it. And so naturally with that draw and that kind of attention, you're going to get people flooding in left and right. This place is literally made to be the event center 
for these kind of events. Bike Week, Truck Week, Trucktoberfest. Biketoberfest. Biketoberfest. Uh, the Daytona 500 is one of the biggest draws possible. And there's also Monster Jam, which comes through as well. So the thing is, there's tons and tons of events that are in this area that are constantly bringing people in. So to put things in perspective on how many tourists come to this area, Florida as a whole, I'm sure you know, it's the number one vacation spot here on the East Coast. It's people just want to come here left and right. You have Disney, you have Universal Studios, you have beaches literally on all three sides, and you've got literally every port to go on cruises. You literally have so many things to vacation, so many things to do here in Florida. So naturally, there's gonna be a lot of people that come on by. Now, Florida as a whole in 2021 saw one or saw 122 million people visit the state. I mean, visiting. Those are tourists. Like those are tourists. Those aren't just people that live here. Those are literally tourists, right? Daytona Beach saw 10 million of that. So to kind of you know chunk out the pie, that's how much is flooding toward the Daytona Beach area. So it's a pretty significant number. The thing is, this area is very well made for that. But for the residents, if you're looking to live in the Daytona Beach area specifically, expect tourists and expect there to be a lot of traffic once those tourist seasons come through and those events are being hosted. Uh, there's a good chance that you're not going to be living in the event centers itself, which is a good thing for you because that means that you don't have to experience the brunt of all of these you know, external people coming on through. A lot of the actual communities and stuff are somewhat located a decent amount away from the Daytona Beach area. So it's nice because you can enjoy it from a distance, but not necessarily be in the thick of it. 24-7. And you always could just head down to the Keys during bike week. I mean, you don't have to hang out there. Yeah, it's a good time to take a vacation, rent your place out, make a bunch of money. I mean, I, you, I see people charging <laughs> charging for parking on their front lawns like during those events. 40 bucks like of spots in some places. 40 bucks a spot, and it's you still got to walk. Yeah, <laughs> it's like two blocks down from the main. Yeah, it's like, crazy. So, so there, there, there's many, many money-making opportunities <laughs> when it comes to this area, when it comes to tourism. All right, so that was the dark side of Daytona Beach, Florida, and we just exposed it for you. If we haven't scared you away yet and you're still thinking of making the move, make sure you reach out, shoot me a call, text, email, message in a bottle, or schedule a Zoom link down below. Or go to our Facebook page and go join that community and ask questions and talk to us more there. If you're interested in the other areas here in Volusia County, you wanna check those out, make sure you go ahead and check out our channel. We have tons and tons of videos explaining the other areas surrounding Daytona Beach or if you really love Daytona Beach, we have tons of videos on Daytona Beach itself. However you need to reach us, we've got your back when you're moving to Daytona Beach, Florida. Thanks for watching. And you can check out the rest of our videos about Daytona Beach right here.